Cloudera Stream's processing focuses on businesses' needs to address critical events that arise quickly and can be really complex. And businesses need insights and data-driven workflows that keep up with the speed of their business. And so this is how CSP was built to enable flexible delivery of real-time data products uh, that address the complex and time-sensitive business needs by streamlining that entire data processing architecture. And so what I'm going to show you today is our product called SQL Stream Builder that is built around Apache Flink. Uh, it provides a robust, ultra-low latency uh, distributed processing engine, which is built around a SQL interface that's usable by any data analyst, right? So historically, problems that used to exist with being able to process streams was you had to be a Java programmer or a Scala programmer or some type of uh, developer in order to be able to leverage these streams. And now with SQL Stream Builder, we were able to enable the SQL analyst to get that same type of value directly out of those streams very quickly. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to create a job in SQL Stream Builder. You saw me already log in. We'll just click create job. So it's going to be inspiring pain. And here we're automatically landed in our console, right? So this is where I'm going to be able to write SQL, just like if you've ever used before any type of SQL workbench type tool or IDE for writing SQL that runs against a, a database, I'm going to be able to do the same thing here. I've got our virtual tables. We're going to create some tables so that we can process data. And then there's some other capabilities that exist, like custom functions, the ability to create materialized views out of your streaming jobs data providers and additional connectors. Uh, for connectors though, for the purposes of this overview, we're gonna just focus mostly on Kafka and Kafka type workloads, but you could uh, use data that's at rest. You could join that with your streaming data to get more enrichment from it. You could query JDBC databases, write to JDBC databases, whatever you like, but Cloudera stream processing also includes Kafka. So we're gonna focus on the Kafka side of things. So here, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a table called orders. Orders is, uh, it looks right, just like a regular SQL DDL for the most part, except we've got this special column here called watermark for order time. So uh, SQL Stream Builder and Apache Flink specialize in being able to do time-based processing, like windowing and aggregations and things like that. And it's really important to be able to do that with streaming data because streams are arguably never ending, right? But to make intelligent use of that never ending stream, we have to be able to bound it up into something. For example, like a 24 hour retailer doesn't stop selling at midnight, right? It sells forever until that store closes, but you're gonna wanna bound up all the sales transactions nightly, for example, to be able to understand what the total sales for that day, week, month, quarter, year were coming out of that store. But we want the processing to always be continuing. For the purposes of this, we're going to just use it, something called Faker that's included with SQL Stream Builder. And this lets you generate fake data. So we're going to generate our fake order stream of data that will be never ending. So here, I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to click execute here and it will create that. And so now you can see we have our, our data catalog. We have a schema registry, and we also have uh, ones created in SQL Stream Builder. If I click this through, you can see I have an orders table, and I can look at you know how the orders table is described. Um, I could delete the table if I wanted to. We can copy its name and just paste it in there very easily for us to reference later. Now let's just run a really simple query right, to show that we're going to get some data generated from our fake orders. So I'll just do a select star from the orders table, execute that. And as it begins to run, one of the benefits of SQL Stream Builder is that we're able to pull out samples of the result set. So this isn't everything that's being generated, but a small sample because that unlimited unbound stream would overwhelm our application, but we want to know and get a feel for the data as we're going to start doing stuff with it, make sure that it is what we're expecting it to be, that our queries match things appropriately. So I'm going to stop that. I'm just going to delete that query. We're going to run another query here. 
we're going to create a view. So this view is going to show us when the window starts and ends. So this is that boundedness that I spoke about, right? So like instead of nightly though, we're going to do it say over 10 seconds. So we're going to have the start time of the window, the end time of the window. So this would be that 10 second interval, the order status, right? Is it received, preparing, delivering, how many orders we got and the total value of those orders. We're going to group by the windows and that order status. So let's go ahead and execute that. You can see here that created this summaries object here in the virtual tables. And now let's go ahead and let's just uh, select some of that. So now we're doing some time-based aggregations out of our orders data that's being generated. And I think the job is running. And there we go. So now we've got our first result. We've got a little window here. You can see it's 10 seconds in length. It's for order status preparing. There's one order count right now, and then a, a total amount of $83. And if we let this run a little bit longer, we see it will get another one. We had two canceled orders and over a 10 second period, and it will just continuously run this uh, forever. But maybe now, you know, I need to put this data somewhere. Like maybe I want to put it inside a Kafka topic, for example. So. I could just write my query out to say insert into output table, select star from summaries. Well, I don't have a, a virtual table here called that, and I need to target Kafka. So one of the cool things that you can do is you can use templates. You can write your query, your DML query that you normally would write and click templates. You can go to your Kafka and say, oh, I want to, you know, make a JSON based Kafka topic and it will generate the DDL that you need in order to be able to uh, create the virtual table to insert into so that that data will get into Kafka. So let's just call this call order steps, something like that. And we'll execute this. Now I've got an orders table that's going to write into this topic called order stats. Actually, you know what? Let's just make it nice and clean. I'm going to drop. No, we'll, we'll leave it. So that's fine. And uh, so now what I can do is I can go back to exactly what I was going to do. I can say, hey, let's run this. This will show us, uh, again, some of the sample of results that are coming through. Take, take a couple seconds for just like last time, right? Because it's got a 10 second interval that is, is going to happen. So there's the first one. Okay, now Cloud Era Stream Processing isn't just SQL Stream Builder. We also package tools that will let you manage your Kafka cluster. So in this case, we're just going to go directly to that. So uh, where we're saving that data to, I'm going to just search for orders. There's order stats. You can see we've got one KB of data in. We uh, haven't updated yet, but we can look in our data explorer and we can see now in our Kafka topic that we've started to get these results right out of the back. We also have a schema registry. And so just really briefly to show you the schema registry, right? We could create a schema if we wanted to. And we could call it orders one. Orders one. No, save that. And you're able to create new schemas. These schemas can be imported directly into SQL Stream Builder for you to be able to use. You can version your schemas, everything else. This was just a really brief overview of one of the main components of Cloudera Stream Processing. And uh, I hope to hear from you about how you can start using SQL to process your streaming data quickly and easily.